Hello everyone, my photo of Mr. Kevin Sprague is still malfunctioning, but your vast knowledge is not going to increase on its own, so we better just uh, check out this Agamator dude, he has a chess channel, of course his knowledge is vast, but for those of you who are interested in some supreme vast knowledge, you know, uh, feel free to go for it. This is my disclaimer, I have tried my best to ensure this quiz is factually accurate, but if there are any mistakes, sorry about that, and what are you going to do about it? And chess players have a really bad habit of being born with extremely hard to pronounce names, so also sorry in advance for all the names I butcher along the way. That being said, let's begin the quiz. Okay. Question 1. What is Agamatta's real name? Is it Tony Montana? Hello everyone! Sir Chesney Capturson III or Antonio Radic? Okay, let's see. Let's see who who's trying to win and who's going for the lols. Reveal answer. Everyone's trying to win. I like that. Well done. Twenty four of you got that correct. It is of course Antonio Radic. And what is his dog called? Sorry, I was reading the last one. Is it Adog Matter, Nice Dog Lift, Morphe, or Meadow? Most of the questions are this hard, so it's gonna be a tough evening. Adog Matter. Is it Adog Matter? Let's reveal the answer. The answer is Meadow, and there's still 24 of you who are all getting a 100% record so far, so well done. Okay, ready for the next question? Here we go. How many squares are there on a chessboard? Is it 64, 32.33, repeating of course, 420, or 100,000 plus one cheese cup? So I think it could be any of these, they're all very reasonable answers. Uh, so the correct answer is 64, and my note on this question is there are actually 204 squares if you include larger squares, not just the one by one squares. But I didn't put that answer in and make it a trick question, because that just wouldn't be nice. Okay, so with the next question. This quiz will give you 20 seconds to answer, but how long would Agad likely give you? All the time in the world, over 9,000 seconds, 525,600 minutes, or a couple of seconds? I will give you couple of seconds while you try to work out the answer. Intent. Intent. Okay, let's see the answers. It was a couple of seconds. So let's go to the next question. Which chess variant involves two players playing as a team with one naming a piece to be moved and the other moving it? Is it four player chess, you talky, I walky, hand and brain, or bug house? There are a couple of ones that you can play on teams there. Let's reveal the answer. It's hand and brain. So sorry for those who got tricked by the four-player chess and the bug house. Next question. What is Agamatta supposedly doing when he reaches down under the desk mid-game? Is he checking for nasty discoveries? Is he scratching his ankle? Is he adding one to his sorry about that counter? Or is he fixing the sound? I mean, all of these could be correct, but only one of them is the official answer from the man himself. Agad Matter claims that he is fixing the sound, so well done to 21 of you that got that. All of the above, I agree, it is really all of the above, but we have to go for the most correct answer. <laughs> Next question. Which of these is not a valid way of drawing a game? Is it the 40 move rule, threefold repetition, insufficient material, or stalemate? This is one of the questions that falls into slightly trick question, but not really. It's just you've got to pay attention. The answer is 40 move rule, because of course it's actually the 50 move rule. The 50 move rule and threefold repetition are not automatic draws, you have to actually claim them, whereas insufficient material and stalemate are automatic draws. So let's move on to question 8. You've just castled and then moved your king one square closer to the corner. Agad would call this a nice prophylactic move, a nice sufficient zug, a nice king walk, or a nice safety play. So you've castled and moved your king one square closer to the corner. Which of these is the agad phrase for such a play? So the correct answer was nice prophylactic move. In fact, I think I might have a sound clip of that. Let's see. A nice prophylactic move. Oh, it cut off the end. A nice prophylactic move. Close enough, close enough. So next question. We are going with the next question. Paul Morphy was known as the what and what of chess. Was it the Simon and Garfunkel, power and glory, heart and soul, or pride and sorrow of chess? What are these questions? These, these are 
excellently crafted questions from a top chess question database. I definitely didn't write all these questions myself. It's the pride and sorrow of chess. He was known as the pride and sorrow of chess because he stopped playing chess at a very young age when he had a lot of potential. And we will move on to question 10. Which of these jobs has Agad Mata not had? Graphic designer, video editor, water salesman, or supreme YouTube chess lord, spreader of vast knowledge? One of the titles may have been embellished a bit, but you know what I mean. So let's reveal the answer. The answer is water salesman. He's had a nice sip of water, but he's never sold it. Let's move on to question 11. How many possible opening moves are there in chess? Is it 16, 20, 24, or 69? You've got the pawn moves, you've got the knight moves. I think, yeah, I believe that adds up to 69. Reveal answer. The answer was 20, and 14 of you got the correct answer, so well done. One of you went for 69, which I definitely approve of. Okay, let's go on to question 12. What is it called when a high-rated player plays online on a second, much lower-rated account against weaker opponents? So a high-rated player pretends to be lower-rated. Is it scoobying, smurfing, snorking, or trolling? Okay, this one, the answer is smurfing. And I know what some of you are probably thinking. Trolling is kind of similar there. Like, they are kind of trolling the other player, but... The uh, definition of the question is definitely smurfing, it's just a term used. Okay, let's go on to question 13. When Agad Mata reaches a new subscriber milestone, it's customary for him to show a game from which player? Bobby Fischer, Mikhail Tal, Kevin Spraggett, or Paul Morphy? So when he reaches a new subscriber milestone, he shows a game from... Who could it be? It was, of course, Mikhail Tal. Three of you went for Kevin Spraggett. <laughs> well done, I'm going for Kevin Spraggett. I like that. And of course, never Google Kevin Spraggett, like Nightbot just did. So let's uh, move on to question 14. Which Indian comedian has taken the YouTube chess world by storm recently, going from 4,000 to 360,000 plus subscribers this year? Is it Tanmay Bhatt? This were Kalyan Raf, Same Reina, or Abhishek Upmanyu. So which Indian comedian has took the chess world by storm? And the correct answer is of course Same Reina, who has also collaborated with Agad Mata several times already. Hey, it's Agad Mata. I think Agad Mata might do pretty well on this quiz. Yeah, everyone, Agad OP in chat. Even though I don't think it will work when I say it. When Same says, say something OP, like a million people say, OP, OP, OP. Yes, it's working. Yes. <laughs> Question 15, incoming. Which 20th century world championship final has been dubbed the match of the century? Tal Botfinik, Karpov Kasparov, Alyekin Capablanca, Fischer Spassky. Plus the years of the matches, but the names are more important. Here we go, the correct answer was Fischer Spassky, 1972. Oh yeah, my note on that question was that they had to get a plane from Reykjavik to Iceland to play that match. Next question, here we go, question 16. What soon-to-be-released project has Agad been working on lately? Is it Chess Manga, Blunderproof PC Speaker Range, Evans Gambit Chessable Course, or Chess Netflix Series? I mean, these are all very reasonable options that he would be working on. How can you get a plane from Reykjavik to Iceland? That's the joke. <laughs> Reveal answer. The, the answer is, of course, chess manga. Everyone ready? Question 17. From their starting square, which two pieces can never reach all 64 squares on a chessboard? Bishop and knight, pawn and bishop, knight and pawn, king and pawn. So which two pieces will have squares that they can never reach? The correct answer is Pawn and Bishop, and well done 14 of you. And that's of course because pawns can't get to the square behind them, and bishops are of course stuck on one colour for the entire game. Okay, the next question, question 18. Which players famously drew their games according to Agad Mata? Was it Wang and Howe, Magnus and Carlsen, Ikaru and Nakamura, or Anish and Geary? What can we say about this question? It's just a classic. The correct answer is Hikaru and Nakamura. 
Only four of you got that right? I am shocked. That is that is quite amusing that everyone went for Geary. Uh, next question, question 19. Who won PogChamp's Season 1 Championship Bracket? Was it Moist Critical, Boy Boy, XQC, or Hutch? So who won the PogChamp Season 1 Championship Bracket? The correct answer was Boy Boy. What have I got here? Hutch came second in it, and Moist Critical won in the Consolation Bracket, also known as the Loser's Bracket. No, no I'm joking. Joking. Don't, don't tell him I said that. Question 20. What is the name of Agan Mata's fiance, who also starred in a hilarious April Fool's parody? Is it Helena, Melania, Leela, or Yelena? And congratulations, Agad and person, <laughs> on your engagement. And of course, I can only say person because that would give the answer away. The correct answer is Yelena. Yelena did the video because Agad was busy streaming Fortnite at the time. Next question. And which chess personality made an equally hilarious April Fool's video on the channel the year before? Was it Jan Gustafsson? Was it Danny Wrench? Was it Robert Hess? Or was it Peter Svidler? Agad had allegedly sold his channel to this person for a million dollars. Let's see who it was. The answer was Danny Wrench, and ten of you got that right. Question 22. Complete the famous Tal quote. You must take your opponent into a deep dark forest where 2 plus 2 equals 5 and the remainder is 1u. Their calculator is solar powered. 2 plus 2 is 4 minus 1. That's three quick maths. Or the path leading out is only wide enough for one. Yes, this is a classic quote which we'll have seen many times. And the answer is, of course, the path leading out is only wide enough for one. I need to calm my tits, apparently. <laughs> Why? 23, here we go. Which of these players has Magnus Carlsen not defeated in a World Chess Championship final? Was it Sergei Karyakin, Fabiano Caruana, Vladimir Kramnik, or Vishwanathan Anand? Fischer, yes, I agree. He has not beat Fischer or Tal. Okay, the correct answer is Vladimir Kramnik. He beat Anand in 2013 and 2014. He beat Karyakin in 2016, and he beat Caruana most recently in 2018. Never played against Kramnik in a final. So, question 24. Next question. What is the name of Agamata's friend who has joined him on several live streams over the years? Is it Stjepan Supreme, Don Passant, Ivan Invincible, or Jan Almighty? I'm going to change my name to Don Passant. But alas, that is not the correct answer. The correct answer is... Jan Almighty. he been on several live streams with Agad, and he was on one month or two back and he's a cool dude and he's almighty next question question 25 who won the first ever fide world fisher random chess championship in 2019 was it jan nepomniashi magnus carlson fabiano caruana or wesley so who won the fisher random chess also known as chess 960 the correct answer was wesley so and i've got in my notes here that he actually crushed carlson 13 and a half to two and a half in the final. Okay, so question 26, next question. Which of these players has Agad Mata not yet done a saga slash long series of videos on? Is it Anatoly Karpov, Jose Raul Capablanca, Bobby Fischer, or Paul Morphy? Who has he not done a saga or long series on? So the correct answer was, of course, Anatoly Karpov. Of course, Morphy saga, Capablanca saga, and I think the Fischer one was called the Bobby Fischer story. I might be wrong about that. Next question, anyway. I digress. Uh, what was the name of the obsessive learner who tried to beat Magnus Carlsen at chess after only one month of training? Was it Tom Francais, Sam Espanyol, Ant Hrvatsky, or Max Deutsch? Dude was way too confident. Yes, he was. I'll give you a spoiler. He did not beat Magnus Carlsen, and he didn't come even close. Uh, so the answer was, of course, Max Deutsch. And if you had worked it out, the surnames were all names of a language in that language. So French, Spanish, and I believe Ant Hrvatsky, I can't pronounce it, is like Croatian Ant. Well, I got matter. Question 28, coming up now. 
Who has played online using aliases such as Star Wars, Capilano Bridge, and Smallville? Is it Daniel Naraditsky, Andrew Tang, Ali Reza Faruja, or Hikaru Nakamura? The answer to this question can be found in one of Agad Mata's podcasts. The answer is, of course, Hikaru Nakamura. This question was tough. Well, they are supposed to get a bit tougher. And some of them are going to be, like, extremely hard. And hopefully you will learn some new things from this quiz. As I certainly did when, like, researching it. It was good stuff. Question 29. Everyone knows that Agad Mata loves the Evans Gambit, but on which move in the Evans is the pawn pushed to B4? Is it 3, 4, 5 or 6? So... Which move is the B4 pawn push in the Evans? Agad Mata would be able to tell you this instantly. Okay, and the answer was... Or B4 is the correct answer. Or Knight Bishop B4. Question 30, everyone ready? Here we go. Which of these chess engines has never won a season of the Top Chess Engine Championship? Komodo, Leela Chess Zero, Ribka, Houdini. So one of these engines has never won a season of the TCEC. But which one? Yeah, I didn't put Stockfish in there because that would have been too obvious. Okay, the correct answer was Ribka, Modo, Leela, Chess Zero and Houdini have all won at some point. Next question. Who came second in the 1959 Candidates Tournament? Was it Tigran Petrosian, Mikhail Tal, Paul Keras or Vasily Smyslov? It is a very specific question, but if someone wakes you up at 3am, you need to know the answer to this, because else what are you going to do if they wake you up at 3am and ask you who came second? So the correct answer is Paul Keras. Well done to eight of you on remembering that Paul Keras came second in the 1959 Candidates Tournament, which was of course won by Mikhail Tal. Question 32. In March 2019, Magnus Carlsen's Play Magnus company merged with which chess website? Is it CapturesCaptures.check, LeeChess, Chess.com or Chess24? Which site did Play Magnus merge with? Captures, captures check. I think someone should make that. And the correct answer is Chess24. Well done to 19 of you getting that. Next question. Question 33. Like Agad, which of these chess YouTubers is also originally from Croatia? Is it Trifon Gabriel, also known as King's Crusher, Ben Feingold, Mato Jelic, or Shuren Agabekan? Agabekian, sorry. Who is also originally from Cro Croatia? And the correct answer is, of course... Mato Yelik. Shuren is Armenian and King's Crusher is British and Feingold is American. Next question. Question 34. Where was FIDE founded in 1924? Was it London, Paris, New York or Berlin? So let's see how well you know your FIDE. The key to this question is knowing what FIDE stands for. If you know what it stands for, then it's obvious. It stands for Fédération Internationale des Echecs. And the answer is Aris. FIDE is a French acronym. Okay, question 35. Which of these is not a real title of an Agadmata video? Luke, use the fork. One ding to rule them all. Draw me like one of your French girls, Anish. O Karpov, my Karpov. Which of these is not the real title of an Agadmata video? Yeah, they could all be Agadmata video names. Okay, the correct answer was Draw me like one of your French girls, Anish. So it should, it should be a real video. We'll keep going on to question 36 now. Who became a grandmaster aged 12 years and 7 months old, the youngest person in history to do so? Was it Pragnananda Ramesh Babu, Gukesh D, Sergei Kayakin, or Awanda Liang? So the youngest grandmaster in history aged 12 years and 7 months old. Do you know who that is? And the correct answer was Sergei Kayakin. The second youngest in history was actually Gukesh D, who was 17 days older than Kayakin when he became Grandmaster. Question 37, let's move on. Roughly one in every how many people in the entire world are a Grandmaster? So from the entire world's population, one in how many are a Grandmaster? Is it 5,000, 50,000, 500,000 or 5 million? So if you're thinking about it, the world has a lot of people in it and there's not that many Grandmasters. Correct answer is 5 million. Like, obviously not everyone in the world plays chess. In the entire world, only one in roughly 5 million people is a grandmaster. 
crazy when you think about it how rare they are. Okay, question 38. Where did Agad travel to in 2018 to cover, cover the Carlson Caruana World Chess Championship final? Was it Chennai, London, New York, or Sochi? Or Sochi? All of these places have been the locations of the last couple of finals, I think. Reveal answer. The answer was, of course, London. And if you go to Agad Mata's Twitter and look at his pinned tweet, there's a very amusing story about that, about his experience at the London airport. Question 39, let's go. Which of these GM tubers, as in GM YouTubers, is not part of a trio known as the Wolf Pack? Is it Tamor Rajabov? Is it Vidit Gudrafi? Is it Eric Hansen? Or is it Anish Giri? Who's not in the Wolf Pack? Do you know who the Wolf Pack are and who's not in it? So the one that's not in the Wolf Pack is Eric Hansen. And in my notes, I've got Eric Hansen is a bra, not a boomer. On to question 40. What was the name of the New York chess hustler who tried to take two knights in one move against Morris Ashley? Was the hustler Apollo, Frankie, Buddy, Wilson? So a famous game between a hustler and GM Morris Ashley. The hustler tried to take two knights with one pawn. What was the hustler's name? And apparently I'm pronouncing bra wrong. How is it pronounced then? Bruh, bruh, like bruh. Anyway, the correct answer to the hustler is, of course, Wilson the hustler. Wilson tried to hustle Maurice and uh, Morris, and Morris wasn't having none of that. He immediately spotted it, and you could tell Wilson was a bit embarrassed. Question 41. When Agad Mata was four or five years old, who introduced chess to him? Was it his sister, his father, his grandfather, or the mailman? Please be the mailman, please be the mailman. So who introduced chess to Agad Mata when he was four or five years old? And I can confirm that it wasn't the mailman, even though I really wish it was. The correct answer was his grandfather. His grandfather, I'm sorry if I pronounced the name wrong, Anto Krunyuk, who was a FIDE master. So that's very impressive stuff. Let's move on to question 42. In the modern era, who has held the world champion title for the longest consecutive period? Was it Garry Kasparov, Mikhail Botvinnik, Magnus Carlsen, or Emmanuel Lasker? Who's held the world champion title for the longest consecutive period? Let's go reveal answer. The answer is Emmanuel Lasker. Emmanuel Lasker was champion for 27 years in a row, 1894 to 1921. Okay, question 43, let's go. In December 2018, Agad Mata became the biggest chess channel on YouTube. Which channel did he capture the number one spot from? Was it Chess Talk, Chess.com, St. Louis Chess Club, or Chess Network? So who was the previous biggest chess channel on YouTube before Agad Mata overtook that channel? So let's see the answer. The correct answer was Chess Network. There are some good videos showing the little sliding bar charts and Agad really like shot up the rankings very quickly. He came from out of nowhere and took the lead and has been there ever since and hopefully stays there. Question 44. In 1931, Aaron Nimzovich got kicked out of a tournament hall because of his unusual attire. What was he wearing? A blindfold, a bathrobe, a military uniform or a dress? So Nimzovich got kicked out of a tournament hall because he was wearing what? The correct answer is a bathrobe and bled Yugoslavia, which is now in Slovenia. And the royal family was expected to visit, so they couldn't have someone in a bathrobe just randomly in the middle of the tournament hall. Let's go to question 45. Which of Agad's OP chess family invented the spinning chair intro, also known as Spintro? Who invented the Spintro? Was it Ivanesco, Filipino, Bizarov, or Cronaldinho? Who invented Spintro? And if you don't know this, you need to learn it, because Spintro is important stuff. Bring back Spintro. And the correct answer is Ivanesco. Question 46, let's go. Who was the first woman to be awarded the GM title? Was it Judith Polgar, Uba Raman, Vijaya Lakshmi, Nona Gaprindashvili, or Maya Chiburdanitsa? And don't ask me to pronounce them again. So the correct answer was Nona Gaprindashvili. 
apparently. And I've probably not pronounced that correctly, but yes, that was the first woman uh, Grandmaster in 1978. Let's move swiftly on. Question 47. Agad Mata has roughly as many YouTube subscribers as the population of which country? Is it Bhutan, Barbados, Botswana or Belgium? Quite crazy when you think about it. But which country is the size of an Agad Mata channel? Okay, the correct answer is Bhutan, Botswana and Belgium both have more people than Agad has subscribers at the moment. Okay, the penultimate question, everyone ready? And this question is an absolute stinker. Good luck, you will need it. There have been three minor planets or asteroids named after chess players. Which of these hasn't yet had one named after them? Vichy Anand, Anatoly Karpov, Bobby Fischer, Alexander Elyekin. Who has not had a minor planet or asteroid named after them? Three of these players have had minor planets named after them. One of them has not, I know. It's hard. And the correct answer is Fisher, Bobby Fisher. In 1972, there was a minor planet named 1909 Elekin. In 1988, there was a minor planet called 4538 Vichy Anand. And in 2003, there was a planet called 90414 Karpov, which sounds like it should be a TV show. And that brings us. You know what that brings us to? That brings us to the final question. The daddy of all questions, the hardest question of the quiz. What will Agad Matter reveal at 1 million subscribers? Will it be definitely something most of the times, or not? The meaning of life, the meaning of Agad Matter, or what the idea is here? Hashtag very hard question, hashtag subscribe to Agad Matter. Wasn't so hard. I think, I think that was a... Uh, the hardest question yet. It wasn't hard. It was very hard. I bet nobody got that right. And the correct answer is the meaning of Agad Matter. Even though rumour has it he has already revealed that meaning in an early stream, but you've got to look very hard to find it. And yes, of course I am joking. This is this is not a hard question, but I didn't want to end the quiz on a randomly hard question. I thought it would be better to end it on on a question where I could then go, remember to subscribe to Agad Matter now. Here's the podium. Here it is. Whoop. And we'll also play our applause sound effect. So everyone give a round of applause in third place. With a whopping 374k points, it's Laser Bazooka. Well done, Laser Bazooka. You will win a gift card worth $13.37. Congratulations. And in second place with 423,000. It's Leslie 321200. Congratulations. Well done, Leslie. And then finally, winning the entire quiz with a whopping 457,000. It is House of Leaves. Congratulations, House of Leaves 12. You all get a round of applause with my weird colored hands due to filters. But congratulations, all of you. So thanks everyone for playing. Oh, and we forgot to set off the fireworks. Here's the underwhelming fireworks to signal that it's a celebration. And thank you all. I appreciate the kind words and I hope you all enjoyed it. And I will now have a lot of fun, in inverted commas, editing this for YouTube. Is there anything else to be done? I guess there is nothing more to be done here. Sing Nakamura now. Nakamura, Nakamura. Nakamura, Nakamura. Um, give us a good quiz outro. Did I play the rocking guitar outro? I don't think I did. This, this is the music I had pegged as the, as the quiz is over music. Okay, the quiz is now over. So here's the quiz over music. That's some good quiz over music, I think. Thanks everyone for coming, it's been a blast. And I hope you enjoyed it and I'll send prizes out soon. And goodbye for now. For anyone who hasn't seen yet, this is how a hoodie guy drinks their drink. They get a straw and stick it in their eye. The good stuff.